Years ago, people used spruce bark for siding and roof material for smokehouses. But today, Helen is just looking for one piece of spruce bark to put on a fish cutting table. The rough surface of the bark will keep the fish from sliding around too much while she cuts them. She finds a tree fairly free of knots and chops around the bottom of the tree. Then she chops the bark as high as she can reach. Then she chops down one side of the tree. She cuts a willow pole and makes a wedge on one end. If she needed lots of bark, she would get a dry spruce pole that is much more durable, but the willow will do to peel just one tree. She peels the tree first on one side and then on the other, working up and down the full length of the tree. This process is only possible from late May to mid-July when the sap is running in the trees. Before and after that, the bark will stick firmly to the tree and will not come off in one big piece. She leaves the top attached until last and then breaks the top free. People ask if this process kills the tree. The answer is yes. Within two years it will look like this tree. It will be dry wood, perfect for a nice hot steam bath. Helen rolls the bark and carries it to the boat. If cared for properly, it will last a whole fishing season.